Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to play Sega 32X games on your classic system. There's nothing extra you have to do for these games. There's no BIOS needed. All you have to do is hack your system, install the mods, and put the games on there. The first step is to hack your system. I'll put my video in the description for you to watch on how to do that. Next thing you have to do is go to your HackChi program. Go to the Modules tab, HackChi Mod Store. First click the RetroArch tab and install the newest version of RetroArch Neo. 1.7.3b. Just hit the button right here, it says download module, and that'll put that on your HackG program. Next, we're going to go to the RetroArch Cores tab. You're going to look for the Pico Drive Core. Between the two Sega cores, this is the only one that will run 32x games. You have to use Pico Drive, you cannot use Genesis Plus GX. So, once again, you'll hit the download module button right here, that'll put that on your HackG program as well. Close the mod store, go back into your modules tab and install extra modules. If you haven't installed RetroArch Neo already, put a check next to that mod, and then once again next to Pico Drive, and then hit the OK button. A bar will appear, and once it's finished, it means that these mods are installed to your system and ready to go. Next, we're going to add the games to Hackchi. Hit the Add More Games button down here in the corner. You're going to navigate to the folder where you have your 32x ROMs. So we're going to try Spider-Man Web of Fire and Star Wars Arcade. Then we're going to hit Open. Those games will be added to the top of your list in HackGCE. As you can see, the command line has already been changed to slash bin slash pico drive, so we don't have to mess with that. We're going to Google some box art real quick. There we go, looking good. The last step is to just hit the synchronize button, and that'll transfer these games from your PC to your classic system. So now we're going to head over there, take a look at these two 32X games. Spider-Man Web of Fire. Let's take a look. Cyberweb above the city, and there he is, spider in your face. Apparently Hydra wants one billion dollars. And Daredevil has been captured. Great. Alright, so we are Spider-Man. Oh boy, yeah, this looks real nice. Oh, we're getting beat up by some random thug though. Spider- no, spot mm. Climbing up walls, we'll do the web swing. Skip the whole game, why not? We're just going up here. Oh, falling debris. Nice soundtrack as well. I'm too busy swinging. We have a web meter at the bottom to, oh, there's, hey, I found Daredevil. Oh, just kick those mines and let him out of the, oh, a couple Daredevil tokens. I wonder what those are for. I guess we'll find out. Now the 32X didn't have a lot of games, period. I think, what was it, something like 60? Maybe 80, what was that thing? Okay, I literally swung through that entire level and barely fought anybody, there's a gargoyle. Oh wait, I think this is one of the things we're supposed to, there we go. Daredevil. What if I pick this? Oh, there he is. He's throwing a stick around. Perfect. Let's try again. Come back, Daredevil. Yes. Oh. Oh, what the oh. On to Star Wars Arcade. A lot of people wanted the arcade version of this to work. Unfortunately, it doesn't because it has 3D graphics. But this version seems to run perfectly. See, you can choose between which one. This one is enhanced with extended and more challenging levels. Could be a X-wing or a Y-wing. I guess we'll be an X-wing. Attention, all wing pilots, stand by to receive orders. We can speed up and slow down and shoot. And I see proton down there. Those are proton torpedoes. That's not a bow tie. I mean a tie fighter. Just need a. There, God. Oh man, that was something. There's not much to this game, it seems. You have the bad guys, you shoot them down. But I like that. I like, uh, I like simple. Simple is fun. Okay, we got one left. Oh, there we go. Okay, now what happens? R2-D2 is here. I didn't know that. What's he doing? Warp, warp speed? My friend that I had in, like, middle school used to be a big Star Wars fan. He used to call those cheese wagons. I don't know if that's a known nickname for him, but I thought it was kind of appropriate. There you go, 32x games. Just toss them on your system, throw that Pico Drive core on there along with RetroArch Neo, and you're all set. They seem to run really good. No issues with those two games that I tried. Make sure you keep coming back to the channel. I have a lot more things I'm going to show you with your classic system. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out, and if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.